Hello, everyone, and welcome to their podcast episode brought to you by ViewWall. I'll be your host for today, Gabrielle. And right now, I'm so thrilled to be joined by the CEO and founder of ViewWall, whose name is Paul Vander Platz. I'm so very excited to be with him today because we're going to be talking about emerging trends in the industry. So, Paul, welcome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So uh, to start us off, what trends do we see emerging in 2023 and beyond? Yeah. So the, the trends uh, we see are smaller control rooms, but more distributed across different locations of, uh, of the same um, company, same organization, and uh, more interactive uh, video walls. So where operators can directly interact with the video wall and share content with their with their colleagues. And um, and we've been working on solutions to to facilitate that, where the, the the operator has keyboard and mouse control on the different types of sources available, and has can have keyboard and mouse control over the video wall. And you know, with the uh, technology evolving, it's it's possible to have content that comes from different location. Today, in uh, in a control room, all the content is encoded or is uh, IT content coming from the cloud. Uh, so it's available anywhere. There's like, uh, yeah, information is, is available from everywhere. And also people expect to be able to share information anywhere. So from one control room or one control center to the other, uh, people want to easily uh, manage the, the sharing of information. That's where with, with our TRX software, we've developed a solution that's uh, central and that allows to control different the content on different locations. And depending on the user rights, you, you control only that location. If you're a manager, you control everything. And uh, in terms of technology, we've developed a technology that operators can have keyboard and mouse control and use it on their desk, like a personal video wall, where they can see their, their content on their large display with the same technology that we're using for the video wall itself. So for the user, for the installers, and for the people maintaining the IT departments, maintaining that, they only have to understand these, uh, these products like our PAC uh, uh, video wall processor. It's a modular uh, product uh, that goes for the, the operator and for the video wall as well. And the TRX central software also. For sure. No, it's becoming less and less almost like an option and more of something that companies need to prioritize because they're seeing yeah. the competition. Yeah. And uh, I know for me, I mean, it's easier to see things visually because uh, if you're given a long, long yeah. document of logistics, <laughs> it's a lot harder to digest yeah. that information uh, rather than seeing it visually. Um, but So an another market is also process control. Yeah. Where there's a lot of information to, to deal with. Mm -hmm. or, again, different information, stock management, uh, machine, you know, all the machines machinery to, to, you know, the, the production floor, the, yeah, there's a the lot. shift, you know, the, the work shifts and all that. Um, so those are functions that are, that can gain a lot with productivity. But a few years ago, a video was way too expensive yeah, to justify the cost. Of. But now with the cost of displays going down, uh, even the video wall control systems are, are more uh, easy to use now. So people are adopting that and they're discovering that they're gaining in productivity. So, so it justifies, markets, yeah. yeah, justifies the cost almost. Well, you know, where does ViewWall kind of fit into this landscape that we're painting here? So ViewWall is, uh, well, we've been innovative since the, since the start. We, we were uh, an early adopter of commercial of the shelf hardware combined with our software to build video wall processors. And uh, so now we continue to, to promote that in, in markets where people don't know what a vi video wall is or who are impressed by a video wall, they don't, they don't even think they can afford it. So we, we go one market at a time. Uh, these days, the logistics market is interesting. Another market is uh, security. That's also very, uh, very interesting. Uh, cybersecurity is also a growing market. Uh, there's a lot of demand there. And again, those are not big control centers like you could see in a utility company, but more small centers, uh, three by two video wall, uh, but where operators need to, to see information together to make decisions. 
Yeah, because you almost kind of think like for me when I think video wall, you think of those massive displays yeah. like the AT and T district. I think of something dramatic and large, mm-hmm. but a lot of times the practical use cases. I mean, it's a a smaller uh, TV size one up yeah. on your wall for your operators to see. Well, uh, will the use of coordination and operation centers in transportation and logistics, particularly, uh, experience an increase in the next year? You think with uh, everything we're seeing? Yes. Yeah, and and along with that, um, the the way operators work, they actually want to interact with the video wall, so they expect to interact with the video wall. In traditional control centers. You would have a video wall as mostly a big static static dashboard where you see all the information and the operators just work on their information and they look at the dashboard. Now people are able to use to share the information they have on their desk and easily share it on the video wall to to talk with their their colleague. And that can go with smaller video walls, smaller teams, and the dashboard, the video wall is much more dynamic than in huge control rooms. Yeah, so you can screencast your own material. Exactly, and yeah. And it makes it a lot more usable. Well, mm. are the use of video walls in control rooms, are those becoming increasingly more attractive and feasible, would you say, like to these companies? Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. So a keyboard and mouse control, uh, even we have some customers, they want keyboard and mouse control of what's on the video wall. So they can oh, wow. share information and they can use their keyboard and mouse to, to work on the video wall itself. So there's a merge of these two worlds of the operator world and the video wall uh, world. The operator is typically uh, an I- the IT world. Video wall is traditionally AV. But those two worlds are merging today as well as the technology. That's so it's an, an interesting, interesting time. Yeah, no, for sure. I didn't even think about it that way. It's kind of a blend of industries kind of going in yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Well, that wraps up the conversation for today. So thank you, Paul, for discussing all the emerging trends in the industry right now. Of course. And as always, if you'd like to learn more, please visit viewwall.com and look for this podcast wherever it is you get your podcasts at. I've been your host, Gabrielle. Thanks for tuning in.